us now, Marcus. The woman is actually glad she was home at the time of the attempted burglary. She's glad she was home and trusted her instinct to call 911 when she watched as strangers were trying to break into her house. My heart was pounding and in, in, into my throat and my adrenaline was high and I'm thinking of plan B, plan C, you know, and trying to do all these things at once. Teresa Wynn's home was almost broken into Monday afternoon while she was there. She was working from home and says a young woman she didn't know rang her doorbell and pounded on her front and back window. When she didn't answer, two men parked out front and then walked around her property to the back door. I called 911 and as I'm on the phone to the dispatcher, I, I go to see what they're doing and they banged on my patio door and then started messing with it, and I saw a crowbar starting to try to pry it. That's when Wynn decided to show her face, letting the attempted burglars know someone was home. I thought, I don't want them breaking that glass. I don't want them coming in. I'm going to confront them or let them know I'm here. And so I started walking toward them, and they were completely startled and jumped back and ran off. Wynn's not sure where the courage came from to confront the intruders, but says she's glad she stopped them. It's funny, I wasn't as much thinking about myself, but as I didn't want them to damage that door any more than they were going to, so I was gonna stop that if I could. Since Monday, she's installed another ring camera in her backyard and recommends others do the same. It's unfortunate this happens here and there. It could happen to anyone, but just be safe and lock your doors and keep an eye out. Janesville Police Department are still looking for the trio who they say did the same thing in Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin a day later. If you see these individuals or this blue Nissan sedan, call 608-755-3100. Live in the studio, Marcus Arsvold, NBC 15 News.